alone again, naturally. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Eddie, and I'm back with another episode of Doki Doki Blue Skies. And I'm, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. Um, right, it's the day of the festival, isn't it? Okay. Today of the festival. Preparations of the event should be nearly complete given all the work everyone's put in over the weekend. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way about as Natsuki as the event. I don't. I'm pretty excited to see what the book. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure the event will be great too. It's always been a while though. Where's Sayori? I'm getting PTSD. I'm getting like PTSD from this guy. Sayori, where have you been? We could have been late for school. Wow, I know, sorry. <laughs> or couldn't decide what to have for breakfast again. You're such a meanie sometimes. You know my teasing is all in good fun, right? Sayori, you are a cinnamon roll. Must protect. Of course. I'm almost on the younger book. Double check the little bags, they're all here. She gestures to the large sack, a bright smell evident on her face. That's cool, Sayori. I'm feeling amazing today, too. A bright smile is evident on my face, too. That was a stupid accent. I'm never gonna do that again. Good stuff, Sayori. Good stuff. See, people are gonna love him. Candy bookmarks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Something for everyone. Although, I'm kind of nervous for the festival. Honestly, I don't blame you. It's kind of nerve-wracking, isn't it? I mean, not know how much it means to Monica, but... At the same time, I didn't realize how intimidating reciting poetry to a bunch of strangers can be. Yeah, that was all for <laughs> Oh, I know- I, I actually know what that feels like. Uh, it, hold on, camera. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, like, when you- like, when you just say, oh, let's do it, like, it's all easy, but then, but, like, the moment you're up there, you're like, oh god, I'm, I'm kind of regretting this. Check out some of my older videos for, uh, an example of me being like that. Oh god, what the hell were those videos? Oh, no, not the videos. W w what the hell was I thinking? Ah, I'm not, I'm not even, let, let, let's not try to think about that program. Positive vibes, positive vibes. That is what I'm all about, peeps. That sounds cringy. Re remember that one guy from the Pewdie, or the Jubilee video? It's all about good vibes, man. I don't know, what was with that guy? <laughs> Looks a little nervous, like, you know, she squeezed on his shoulder. Really fine, don't worry. Your poems are great. Aww. Aww. Definite optimism that makes Sayori? Well, Sayori. That's right. We have another festival for the celebrating the end of the festival. Big brain time. <laughs> Oh, what a tactical change of topic that was. <laughs> tactical. So, that sounds fun. Wait, is this on a Sunday? Wait, yesterday was a. S is this mo is this a Monday or a? You know, let, let, let's just let's just not question. At least joining before joining the literature club. No hoy. That is the most anime looking high school I've ever seen. No school in Japan actually looks like that, I'm gonna tell you. I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that because I've never actually been to Japan before, but. That school? Far too clean. Nuh uh, that, that just doesn't happen. It's far too expensive. Like a university campus, maybe, but like, there's no way this is a high school campus. Uh, what, what, what did they say? It's a little strange. Uh, our school's inside, it's a little strange. Uh, how many students yet? I've still been feeling so lonely, or at least before I have joined the literature club. Times like these make me so grateful that Sayori told me about the club in the first place. I don't know, probably quite a few. Oh yeah, this is a continuation of, oh look, how many students there are, how many clubs are having their own, own little event today. 
Probably quite a few. That makes sense. By the way, Sayori. Hmm? What's up, Edward? No matter how this festival goes, I'm really grateful you told me about the club and let me join. Had a lot of club fun so far. Sayori, you little cinnamon roll. I want to give her a hug and a boop on the nose. Boop. <laughs> boop. <laughs> Scratch the back of my head nervously as Sayori looks curiously at me. I've never been good at expressing myself, and it probably shows. Hmm. You don't have to thank me for anything. Well, yeah, I enjoyed it too. Aww. After all, if you lovely things could back go back to how they used to. Oh, nothing. Ee hee hee. Aww. What could she mean by this? She breaks the silence by giggling. Something funny. I just thought of a way to steal one of Natsuki's cupcakes without her realizing. <laughs> Say, Yori, you absolute mad lad. <laughs> Say, Yori, if you uh, manage to uh, su successfully steal a cup, uh, steal some of the cupcakes, Make sure to steal one for me, too, so I can have a cupcake as well. As a matter of fact, you know what? Screw it. I might join you. Are you sure that's a good idea? Natsuki might be little, but you know better than I do that she can be really fiery. Oh, don't worry about her. She might seem a bit mean on the outside, but she's harmless. Don't let her fool you. I'm not saying she's mean. <laughs> I'd rather her than me. <laughs> Edward Sayori Money Pose. Ooh, new music! Oh! Hey! You know what this is? Dang! They, a, a lot of... Uh, they... I don't even know what to say, like, this spot is... Edward Sayori! It's good to see you guys! Do you want to come and give me a hand? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, they really did. And, uh... <laughs> MC just found a poem online and just submitted one that he thought Monica would like. Mm, they look really pretty! Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly written down on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize the girls' poems for the ones they performed during our practice. Just then, Natsuki bursts in the room carrying a box that positively towers over her. Yuri trails in behind, carrying up a rolled-up banner and a large duffel bag. Alright, it's festival time! Wow, you guys got here before me? I thought I was pretty early. Ah, I'm sorry for being the last one here. I'm glad that some preparation is already underway, though. It should take less time to set everything up this way. Yeah, let's work hard together, everyone! Woo! I'm excited. Natsuki unpacks her box to reveal four trays of cupcakes stacked carefully on top of each other. Edward! I jump at the sudden outburst. Yes? Help me lay out these cupcakes. Um, then if you wouldn't mind, Sayori, could you help me with these? Alright, cool. I help Natsuki with her cupcakes while Yuri and Sari start putting up decorations. Meanwhile, Monica continues putting down pamphlets. It isn't long before Natsuki has carefully arranged her cupcakes in a neat form formation. Each cupcake is topped with white icing and some kanji written in a variety of, four of different colored frostings. Does Japan still learn kanji? Oh, hold on. Nope, sorry. Wow, these look really good. Great idea to make them literature club themed as well, Natsuki. Yeah, it was a good idea, huh? I wrote down the words that specifically have to do with poetry in our poems, too. She picks up a cupcake to show me. See, this one says create. Or er, isn't that the kanji for use? Eh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Does Japan still use kanji? Like, kanji I know is... It's, it's just Chinese characters, honestly. And they have their own writing system, so I honestly don't... 
understand why they would, like, continue to use it. Because it's just kind of clunky. Korea had a similar writing system as well. Um, but then some king decided to, like, said, screw it, we'll, we'll just make our own writing system. So he, he literally made his own writing system. Uh, Vietnam was actually really late to making their own language. And that's why Vietnamese written language looks just like, it's just an alphabet with, like, like more dots and, like, squiggles and stuff. I, I don't know how to quite describe it. Just check out Vietnamese writing. Like, because if you look at Chinese, Korean, or Japanese languages, like, honestly, they are all, like... <laughs> and I'm, I'm just talking about, like, the written language, not kanji or hanja or, or just... I'm just talking about, the, like, the true native languages, like, Korean... the Korean written language. In the Japanese, I believe, they have hiragana and katakana. I do believe one of them fell out of use after World War II, but... I think it's hiragana. They continue to use hiragana, I think. And if you look at the three, like, they look pretty similar. Obviously, Korean is, like, very different from... Oh, the music's over. <laughs> the music. Obviously, Korean is a little different from Chinese or Japanese because instead of characters, we use, like, a completely different... Like, instead of just having one single character, the Korean writing system uses dozens of different characters arranged into, like, to form a single letter. You use, like, letter characters. It's, it's hard to explain. Just just look it up yourself. And I glance over to... As Natsuki furiously checks over the rest of her cupcakes to look for more miswritten characters, I glance over at Sayori and Yuri. They're both putting up a batter with inspirational quote written on a color gra col colorful gradient with the colors of the sky. And I just realized that if I had gone with Natsuki, she probably wouldn't have made those mistakes. A good writer possesses not only his own spirit, but also the spirit of his friends. Ah, that's a quote by German- Oh, Nishe! I know that guy! He has had some very interesting thoughts, although there are some, quite some I don't quite agree with. Oh, I think I've heard of him. Yeah, what do you mean you've heard of him? That guy's famous! Yeah. Yuri's big brain. It seems they've also hung up a curtain of origami paper tied to ribbons in the doorway. Upon closer inspection, each paper has a different kanji character written upon it. Hey, looks like you did something similar to Natsuki with your kanji curtain. Is that so? I'll have to take a look at what she's done after I finish setting up. She gestures to a few candles and wooden cylinder shaped, shaped objects. Yuri said that that's essential oils in the diffuser. Ooh, how fun. Ooh, yes, it's for aromatherapy. One of my positive computer, uh, contributions to a positive atmosphere. I used to have one of those in my room. I don't remember what happened to it. Huh, I'm excited to see how it works later. Woo! Music. Looks like all the preparations are, al are almost finished now. I feel like there's something missing, though. Suddenly, I notice a large bag sitting forlornly by itself to the side. Siri, do you, do you mind handing me that sack you got? I'll help you distribute all the stuff inside of it. Okay, here you go. Peering inside, I catch a uh, glance of quite a few small colorful bags, neatly tied shut with ribbons. I just I remember, her handiwork from yesterday really shows. I pull one out. Yuri and Monica notice the little bags, looking on with interest. Ah, so this is what you and Edward have been working on over the weekend, Sari. I love how these work. You both did a fantastic job. Damn, seriously, this this mod feels a lot more put together than the original game, and that's saying something. Dang. Yeah. I don't think I could ever play Doki Doki. I don't think I could ever look at Doki Doki normally after playing this mod. <laughs> oh god, this is like one of the best mods I've ever played. Like, okay, to be fair, I haven't played too many mods, but yeah, this is like one of the best. A lot of these look. You both did a fantastic job. Oh, it's mostly Sari. I couldn't do the ribbon part if my life depended on it. Ha ha ha. I'm sure the contents are just as impressive as the exterior. What sort of things did you choose for the quotes? Hee <laughs> hee, we had a lot of fun with that. She delicately opens one of the little bags, fishing out a quote. It's perfectly okay to write garbage as long as you edit it brilliantly. Wait, I didn't put this one in. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that one was mine. I thought it was kind of funny. Monica giggles where his Yuri and Sayori look like they're... Whereas Yuri and Sayori look like they're trying to figure out where the punchline is. Well, one out of the three isn't so bad. How about this one? I hastily open another bag, picking up the quote. Sometimes when you're writing a poem... Oh yeah, this is uh, the one Monica already said. 
if you never start, you can't make any progress. That's facts. It's one of Monica's writing tips. See? Big brain. Keeping your pen in a big puddle of ink. There we go. That's the line from the game. We couldn't figure out who said that, which is a shame. <laughs> which is a shame. Ooh, have you guys tried the candy? Uh, don't you think we should save those for people we made the bags for, Sari? Oh yeah, he he he. irritated voice rings over from over the classroom. Hey, if you guys are finished over there, can you actually sort Sari's stuff out? You know, we do have festival stuff to prepare for. She huffs, and the rest of us share a guilty grin. Natsuki's right. Ah, I suppose Natsuki raises a valid point. Yeah, let's get to it then. We delve into the sack and scoop up the little bags, going around the classroom and setting them down on each desk. <laughs> he printed out a few spare quotes to put around the classroom, and it's not long before a few desks bear the wise words of writers and poets alike. Sayori wanders over to the front door and sticks one of the quotes there. I'm impressed by her thinking. Everyone will see the quote that way. It doesn't take long to distribute all of the little bags around the room. Out of the corner of my eye, I spot Sayori trying to sneakily open a bag and pop a candy into her mouth. Naturally, she drops a chocolate. Some things never change. Dang. Ooh. By the time we finish, it looks like everyone else is done, too. The classroom is now darkened and lit by the ambient lighting of the candles. A delicate floral scent... A delicate floral scent wafts through the air. Corsia of Yuri's essential oils. Sayori and I are headed towards the other three girls who are huddled near the front of the classroom, murmuring to each other. Is it about time to start yet? Almost. Ooh, they just shaded the sprites, too. Seriously, this mod is... Almost, we wrote that we were going to start at 10 a.m. On our posters, and that's in 10 minutes. Oh, I'm getting pumped up too, and I'm not i am not even in the game. By the way, I've noticed that everyone's uniforms are so freaking shiny. What's up with that? No. Oh. Are people actually going to show up for this? Yeah, everyone's uniform uniforms are so freaking shiny, especially around the... Posture region. Don't be so negative. Some people have shown up already. I'm sure that more will find filing so. You guys don't have to be worrying so much about it. I've got full faith in all of you. I've seen all of your poems. Yeah, I, it's been amazing watching each and every one of you find find and nurture your unique writing styles. She smiles encouragingly at each of us. To her credit, her words are helpful even though I haven't been part of her club for as long as the other three. Even Edward... Hey, Natsuki. It was just a joke, jeez. Thought the humor would lighten the mood. Not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. Ah, sorry. Just trying to make sure everyone's in the best frame of mind before we start. It's okay, Monica. We all understand and appreciate that. Oh god, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> Yuri's hair just blends in the background, kind of. Except for the shine, the sheen of her hair. Yeah, we know how much this club means to you. I want it to be as successful just as much as you do. Couldn't I put it better myself? Even though I've only been in the club for a few days, I felt really at home. Truth be told, I used to be kind of lonely. Hey, I'm saying it. Just straight up in front of the people. That's, that's, that's pretty ballsy of you. Knowing that I'm included with people like you guys always makes me feel better. That is not the way I would behave, but okay. I haven't told anyone about how lonely I've been feeling. I'll, I've, I'm a little nervous about how the others will react. They all turn to me varying degrees of emotion on my face. That is unrealistic. <laughs> wow. Aww. It's okay, but we could change that, remember? Like I said, I'm so happy you feel welcome here. It's exactly what we wanted. I agree. No one should feel alone. I know it's quite di a, quite a difficult thing to experience. Feel a warm flush of gratitude at their words. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. Also, Monica, I told this Sari this early, earlier. And I figured... Mm, you might appreciate hearing this. Hmm? Well, no matter how the festival goes, I wanted to just say thank you to all of you. Thanks to you guys, that lonely feeling has disappeared. The re MC's rain clouds have disappeared, too. <laughs> This, this this feels like a post I once saw on r slash that happened. 
really appreciate it. So even if this event doesn't quite go as planned, I just know that I really love it here, and I'm glad Sari told me about this club. If others don't like what we have here, well, they're lost, right? The girl's not in agreement, smiling at me. I have no idea my words would have such an impact, but I'm glad it, they did in the end. It feels so rewarding to be able to give back to the club for a change. Monica turns to me, eyes shining with appreciation. Aw. Thank you, Edward. You're right. Hearing those words from a newcomer really makes me feel like I've succeeded in my goals as president. After all, I want to create a place where people can feel comfortable and share literature. And what you've just said makes me feel like it was all worth it. She turns to face the others. See, guys? If we could show how Edward amazing this club is, who's to say we can't show the other students the same thing? That's the spirit. Don't see them as strangers. See them as potential club members. Booyah. She's definitely got an inspiring way with words. Damn, Moni. That charismatic sheen. Which is why we totally should have had a year Monica route, let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, good thinking, Monica. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, an alien invasion? Yeah, yeah, but if they say anything bad about my cupcakes, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Yuri giggles softly. I won't lie to you, I'm still quite nervous. But after hearing what you've said, Edward, I realize there still might be other lonely people out there. This club will be the perfect place for them. Yeah, we might even find more manga enthusiasts! That's a spirit, now let's go and show the rest of the school just what the literature club is made of. As Von Q, a few people wander into the room, curiously looking around the room. Monica confidently walks over and greets them. And so it begins. Monica and Siri have greeted the newcomers and settled them into the desks throughout the classroom. Some people are already helping themselves to the cupcakes, and they know Snazuki keeping an eye on them. Meanwhile, Yuri is nervously looking through the pamphlet. I could see her soundlessly mouthing the words to her poem. Now that I think about it, I should be getting some extra practice in as well. Whoa, I'm feeling adrenaline too. It's that moment when you like your heart starts pounding, and you're like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Adrenaline pumps, and like you know, just become a lot more prepared. You go out with confidence. You know, I have no idea what I just said. Before I could do it though, Monica heads back towards us with Sayori in tow. Showtime, everyone! Oh man, I'm excited too. I, I don't I don't know. Let's do this, guys! Time to get this over with. I can do this. <laughs> Aids the Dokies. That should be a band name. Monica steps up to the podium and clears her throat, drawing the room's attention to her. Okay, everyone. Monica. Woo! Welcome to the Literature Club's Poetry Performance! My name is Monica, as some of you may know. Some girls sitting near the front of the classroom wave at her, and I'm the president of the club. Accompanying me is the vice president, Sayori. Hey, hi guys! And the rest of our club members, Yuri, Natsuki, and last but certainly not least, Edward. Hey, what's up? Uh, which direction is better? I don't know. <laughs> I hope that you'll all enjoy our poetry and that we'll be able to help contribute to a memorable festival. Literature is amazing in its ability to connect us to the human condition, and we really hope that this event will help encourage others to start participating as well. Our club will gladly member welcome any new members, from those who love words and writing as well, to anyone who's simply just curious and wants to learn more. After the scheduled performances, we'll be opening up the stage for anyone who wants to perform, so don't be shy. And now, without further ado, I'll be starting my poem, The Way They Fly. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and I head off to settle down in the frontmost discs, saving the seat at the end for Monica. She stands there, alone yet radi still radiating confidence. After flashing a smile and a wink at us, she begins. Each word is crystal clear and exudes emotion. Somehow, her recitation is even better than it was only a few days ago. She must have really practiced hard tr to try to achieve perfection. The classroom is silent at first, drinking in her words. Words. Can someone edit this? No, I'm editing this. After a few moments, however, some whispering starts up the back of the classroom. I guess it's inevitable, but still doesn't make it any less annoying. I exchange look with Natsuki, who rolls her eyes at the disruptions. Sayori pats my hand and gives me an encouraging smile. She's comforting as always. As Monica's poem progresses, more and more people wander in. Normally this would be a good thing, but they're making a lot of noise. Thankfully, they simmer down once realized Monica's speaking, but the damage has already been done. She reaches the end of her poem, the last few words resonating in the classroom. A round of applause fills the room, and Monica beams at everyone, patiently waiting for them to finish. Thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my poem, and it gave, 
that it gave you a flavor of what this club is like. For the newcomers, welcome! We're just in the midst of showing you all our poems. For the benefit of those who have joined, she quickly reintroduces everyone. Anyways, next up is Natsuki! Take it away! Natsuki stumbles slightly as she makes her way to the front of the class. I guess her nerves are really getting to her. It doesn't help that someone snickers, causing her to turn her glare at them. Sari seems to no not seems to notice too as she hastens to shoot Natsuki a reassuring smile. Natsuki stands at the front of the classroom with her poem in hand, slight traces of irritation still visible on her face. Anyways, so my poem is called Jump. She takes a deep breath and begins her recital. Just as I, I was hoping, she's in able to inject her trademark bouncy style into the performance, bringing the words to life. She doesn't quite radiate the confidence Monica does, but her unique shy style shines through, giving the poem a flow and rhythm. While simple, it's effective. My heart sinks as I start picking up on the newcomers having their own conversations in the back of the room. With a surge of anger, how can they be so inconsiderate? Jeez, they are. It's clear that they aren't paying any attention from the pause and change in Natsuki's tone. She's clearly picked up on it as well. Why can't they just save their stupid, selfish conversations for after our performances? Her poem comes to an end, but unlike with Monica's, there's a slight awkward moment of silence. Once again... Oh, the music stopped. There's a round of applause, but it's clear that the audience's engagement isn't quite as strong. Great performance, Natsuki! I really like the rhythm of that poem. Natsuki forces a smile and makes her way back to her seat. It's clear that she's upset. Aww. Anyways, our vice president, Sari, is the next to perform. Hi, everyone! I hope you like my poem! Eehehe! <laughs> she cheer cheerily skips up to the po front, poem in hand. As she turns to face us, she looks a little nervous, fidgeting slightly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's okay, Sari. Remember what we practiced? I've got full faith in you. Yeah, you got this. This one's called My Meadow. Woo! Her soft, she begins her poem. Her soft voice guides us through the recital, and there's a remarkable contrast between the, her cheerful in inflection and the more bittersweet nature of the words. Dang. Oh, the music's a little off. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice people casually flicking cupcake wrappers onto the floor, along with candy wrappers lying on the tables. Where still, the talking is getting louder and more noticeable. Monica looks at the perpetrators, frowning on them. Ah, Jesus Christ. Monica, do something! That's an interesting depth of the poem. I'd love to see this more of the side to her. She brings her performance to a close, hands shaking slightly. <clears throat> Lovely poem, Sari. Really, really brought that one to life. Something's off with her voice. It's like how she was on Friday. Just a polite reminder that it would be much appreciated if everyone could give her poets some respect while they're performing. Monica looks stern while Natsuki looks positively furious. Thank you. Now the stage is all yours, Yuri. Yuri's looking terrified at this point. Sari gives her a reassuring squeeze and I lean over, whispering into this ear. You've got it, Yuri. Just pretend it's only me, Natsuki, Sayori, and Monica. I can't do this, Edward. Yes, you can. Oh, hey, he says it. Yes, you can. I believe in you. I see how passionate you can be when you talk about the portrait of Markov. I love that. I love seeing that side of you. Besides, like you said, this club could be the perfect place for any of these people. We just don't know it yet. She swallows nervous, nervously, nodding at my words. Okay. Thank you. She... Ah, the music's off. She rises to her feet, poem clasped firmly to her chest and avoiding eye contact with everyone as she walks up. Her eyes flick up to glance at the classroom while she gets on the stage, although she quickly ducks her head back down to her poem on the podium. This poem is called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Her voice quivers as she starts, but unlike her recitation a few days ago, the meek and trembling version of Yuri remains well into the poem. Oh god. She determinedly forges ahead, but I can tell she's not enjoying it in the slightest. Ah, Jesus. Ah. You already seen them as well. Looks like she's trying her hardest to ignore everyone. One boy wolf whistles? What, what's, what's wolf whistling? She's practically shaking like a leaf. This is absolutely disgusting. 
Can you all just shut up? There we go, Natsuki. That boy had a sprite. He's bad news. I'm seriously saw. Uh... Oh, jeez. Who is that guy? Hi everyone! I'd like to take a second to apologize as well, both to who are checking out the club today, and those who are already in it. But despite everything that's happened, I could say I'm glad I got to join the- Yada yada yada. Love it as much as I do. Anyways, I hope that you'll acquaint acquainted with the night. Who was that guy? Yeah, that guy that guy is a spray. That that guy's bad news, I I assure you that. He and he might have some history with Monica or something like that. I don't know. What a great way to round off the event, as I step down from Monica stands up and addresses the room. Thank you all for coming and staying. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Hmm, nice. What? Who, who's this? Ah, oh, cool. Well, yeah, that would make sense. Your dress is a lot more up than, uh... Also, your uniform's slightly different. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep. Yeah, who is that guy? Jesus Christ. I hope there's an option to beat up that guy later. Oh yeah, they, they taped black things onto the... They taped black, uh... Paper onto the... Windows. That could've gone better. <laughs> I know how that feels, MC. Where did we go wrong, guys? It's not your fault anyways. She smiles weakly at me. Glancing around, I notice that Yuri and Natsuki seem particularly upset, with Yuri looking absolutely dejected, and Natsuki steaming mad. This is your fault, Monica. I told you that- Hey, why blame this on Monica? None of us were even that comfortable with doing it in the first place. Now look where it's landed us. Excuse me? You agreed to do this part of me for thinking it would actually go well. What's so wrong about that? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, great. 
We got attacked from the outside and now we're tearing ourselves apart from the inside. This could... Oh, damn. Yeah, because that was such a good idea, wasn't it? I'm really starting to get sick of your constant sarcasm, you know? Why can't you just be, try being positive for once in your- Oh, jeez. She's funny you should say that because I'm really starting to get your self-righteous know-it-all attitude. We told you this would be a good, bad idea, but no. You just had to insist on this, even though no one was happy with it. It was, it was for a reason. Look how much Edward enjoys it here. Is it really so unreasonable to think that we could have found someone else like him? Or is it just that I'm too positive for you to even fathom? This is awful. The other students were bad enough, but now Monica and Natsuki are going for each other's throats. Look how badly everyone's humiliated. How considerate of all those... those... Those assholes were to us. To all of us. Yeah, don't blame Monica for it. What did that one prick say? He was only here for the food? All that hard work just for what? Nothing. She angrily kicks one of the desk. The loud noise jolts Yuri, who looks up with tears in her eyes. Please, Natsuki, can you calm down? Don't tell me you're taking your side, Yuri. You have to experience the worst of it. I don't get why you're not mad, either. Natsuki, there's no point of being angry at Monica. She didn't want this to happen. She had no idea people would react this way. Bad enough the students were rude, and I really don't like fighting in the club itself. That's right. Yeah, yeah, but if Monica listened to us when we said we weren't comfortable with it, the whole idea, this would have never happened. Monica sighs. This kind of conflict she generally leaves for Sayori to deal with. But in this case, Sayori looks too distraught to intervene. Look, what you're not understanding is sometimes you just have to take risks. I'm sure this didn't go well, but there's always a chance it wouldn't have ended like this, and we could have had new members. She turns to me. I mean, you of all people can understand that the best, right, Edward? You made the choice to come here. Look how much you enjoy it. Oh, don't you try and suck up to him, Monica. Face it, you never listen to us. Your cl club members or take our opinions into account. Tell me I'm not alone in thinking that. Or, oh great, now I have to choose a side? I really don't... Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Is there like a... Both? Oh. Uh, uh, who do I choose? Uh, oh my god. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, I... I Something tells me I kind of want to go with Monica because, you know, that's... I personally agree with it, but that would make Natsuki feel bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, Natsuki's gonna get mad at me, though. Ah. Uh, she just go... Try and backpedal. Got a point. Oh.
Yeah, you shouldn't have put it like that. Oh my god, that was actually a legitimately hard decision. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh, right when they're there. Oh, uh, hold on. I think I need to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh. Monica? No answer. Making a little noise as possible in some illogical <laughs> attempt not to scare her away. You uh, look pretty upset, so I thought I'd come find you. Would the outcome have been the same? How do I choose? Monica? Beautiful view, isn't it? But yeah, you could say that. Is that the reason you came up here? Part of it. Days like this, the wind and eternally stretching blue skies are making me feel like I could go anywhere. How poetic! Feels like freeing. Yeah, something comforting the possibility of getting swallowed up by that blue. Normally that would be scary, but in situations like this, yeah, I, I, I kind of know what that feels like. After like having a nasty fight, reading a book that would normally give me an existential ex, uh, existential crisis. Yeah, yeah. Existential crisis makes makes me feel oddly good about everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you okay? Progress. Aww. Lonnie, my personal best girl, honestly. Tact? What was that? Did you expect that I'd be crying up here? Contemplating suicide or something? Oh yeah, I thought I, I thought you would be given the theme of the the way the original game would go. And I actually thought I would cry at first. But maybe I'm all cried out. I'm not just saying that to cheer you up either. Remember what I said to you before during your little pep talk? Aww. <laughs> you have a lot of potential in it, right? Aww. I feel like this could be the start of a Monica route, really. Right. Definitely the sign of a good president, if you ask me. What's a wolf whistle? Right. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I don't really know what to say.
Should I have chosen the other option? Exactly what I'm talking about. Alone with one of the most attractive, popular girls of the year, having a heart to heart. <laughs> and guess what? It's all thanks to the literature club. <sighs> uh, you're welcome, Monica. <laughs> Nothing to chickening out. <laughs> Go back and find the others, though. Don't want the brie or anything. <laughs> ah, they're back. Club president. Now that everyone's called that, we can talk things out. I hope Natsuki doesn't hate me now. I look fine. Okay, so I'm here. So, uh. I can speak for myself, okay? She says that, but all right, I'm just gonna get this over with. But I want to say they didn't mean what I said that when you were a bad president. I mean, I guess it's pretty clear you care about the, a lot of the club. Sari nods vigorously at her, egging her on. It's just that those jerks pissed me off so much that I blurted out random things that needed to vent. Well, I won't lie. It does seem like you get special treatment because you're pop so popular, Monica. But then again, I wouldn't know what you have to go to. You're not totally- Why well, you? Well, don't say that. Suki, seeing you as a friend, uh, I hope that you'll still be able to see me as one, too. Ooh, flute. Thank you for saying that. I'm not going to lie either, your comment doubting my presidency hurt. It's definitely not true, though. You're a great president, Monica. Yeah, but you brought us all together. Without you, we wouldn't have become friends. Alright. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it'd be really great, it'd be good. <laughs> That's certainly an understatement. Did I say something strange? Oh, Yuri, you're so funny. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Given the circumstances. Okay, everyone. the festival though. Is there like an option to too, if you think, or, not literature, but you know, it, it's art if you look at it. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, that, that was a crazy festival. Uh... Yeah, that was a lot more. That, that was a tumult? Tumultus? 
yeah, that was a very turmoil-filled festival if I've ever seen one. Well, <laughs> I hope you all liked that video. Um, give this video a like and subscribe and smash that bell. Uh, remember, for every, for every, uh, like, you know that, remember that boy, right? That, that, that dupe, that, that dick? For every like we get, that's one punch in the face for that guy. For every subscribe, for every, for every new subscription, that is, uh, I'll, I'll think of something later. Anyways, every like, punch in the face for that guy. So, if you hate that boy, give a like, please. Anyhow, uh. Hope you enjoyed that video. Sky's up, and you guys are awesome. See you all in the next video. Bye!